this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Thursday, September 17th, 2020. The tarot card for today is the Hierophant from a deck in progress by UK artist Olivia Rose. And, you know, I've been showing you images from this deck for a while. This young lady is so talented and has such a unique style, and she was discovered by U.S. Game Systems, and they've picked her up with this deck, so they will be publishing it, so everybody will be able to get their hands on it when it comes out. So, really excited about that, and we've been watching it come to life for a while before they even knew about her. Now, of course, I digress. First, I want to say new moon blessings to everyone. Today is a new moon super moon happening at 25 degrees Virgo. Hmm, right? What does that mean, super moon? It means that the moon is really close to the earth. So this new moon can really be felt. But we also have a couple things that are going on today along with this new moon. First up, and I was talking about this yesterday, there's a square happening between Mercury and Jupiter. And, you know, a lot of times when we see squares, they are tense aspects. In this particular case, with, you know, Jupiter being so positive and the giver of gives and good luck and all that, and expansive. Let's, let's get that part across. Jupiter likes to see the big picture where this can cause you problems is if you don't focus on the finer details okay so make sure that in thought and communication you aren't glossing over things and you'll find that the square can actually work very well for you and what i really love the sun in virgo will be trining retrograde saturn in capricorn which is stationing to go direct on the 29th you know saturn is in a position here that makes it much more powerful and normally we look at saturn as kind of like we would the hierophant card like that authority figure that says no 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 but in this case saturn is saying hey if you have put in the work here is your gold star you know how when you get that gold star on your paper in school eh, right that the teacher gives you because Saturn is the teacher mm -hmm. and so is the hair font and the hair font is represented by earth energy which we have an abundance of right now we have the Sun the moon uh, Jupiter Saturn Pluto right and of course Uranus who likes to shake things up and this card today in keeping with the cards that we've been seeing the Hierophant can be about the status quo, right? Yeah. <sighs> I'll tell you, everybody has been looking to change theirs in some way, shape, or form. And I can't say I blame you. It's been quite the year. And so many are looking to break out of that mode and create their new normal. What will yours be? All right. This is, you know, this new moon. This is such a perfect time to be breaking out, to make things happen. And I hear from so many of you, I say this every day, who, you know, tell me their stories and there are big changes that are afoot. Jobs and homes and you name it, relationships, things are coming together. But where this, it's almost like an opening that's here, like a portal. And it's taking you towards some new things. And you're going to see like another big opening coming in December at the total solar eclipse in Sagittarius. I talk more extensively about that over on Patreon. I do some lengthy videos over there that you can listen to. And I, talking about what is coming, it's exciting. Which is great because sometimes when I see this card, it can be a downer. You know what I'm saying? You've got the establishment and the rules and the authority figures and, oh, you know, you just got to do what you're told, that kind of thing. But you're doing your own thing here and you're breaking out of this mode. It's wonderful what you're creating, but you can't even see it where it is about 
to lead you. That's the magnificent part, okay? Like, what you have learned, you know, from the Hierophant, from the great teacher, there are some valuable lessons, and they're being rewarded now. Hmm. I love this for all of you. I want to thank you very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.